Hi, this is Toby with HMC Electronics. We're going to be taking a look at the top seven most important points with regards to tip care and maintenance, or as we're calling them, the top seven tip tips. Number one, treat your soldering tip with care and respect. Why? Because for the most part, $2 soldering tips, $3 soldering tips are a thing of the past. More and more often, soldering tips are eight to twenty dollars. Your operators may not be aware of that. Teach them to treat them with love and respect and they will last so much longer. Number two, cleaning a tip. Damp sponge. Damp meaning you cannot wring it out. You wouldn't bathe with it. The water should not be a cesspool of flux residue. It should be Distilled, deionized, clean, damp sponge. That is crucial. If you're not using a sponge, these wonderful wires that are out, these cleaning wires, these are the best. It doesn't drop the temperature of your tip. Stuff it in there. Take out all the dirt. You don't have to worry about, is it too wet? Is the water... Get one of these. Number three. Never put these babies to bed dirty. A dirty tip isn't just an annoyance when you then go to sort of the next day. That, imagine a cookie tray. If you try to clean that cookie tray right after the cookies have come off and it's still warm, you can get that tray clean as a whistle. You try to do that the next day, you will be scrubbing and cleaning for hours. Your soldering tip is no different. Number four, solder at the lowest temperature possible. Um, Cranking that iron up to 850, 800 Fahrenheit just because you think you're going to sort of faster. There are instances where a high temperature is required and you can identify those, but, but just doing it just because you think you will sort of faster, you are uh, putting more wear and tear on your tip and uh, you're not actually giving your flux a chance to work. But, but uh, for the instance of tip care and maintenance, find what the lowest temperature you can solder at without getting a cold solder joint, and uh, that lower temperature will definitely elongate your tip life. Number five, this little tip tinner should last a lifetime. Uh, if you're using this on a daily basis, uh, you are uh, using something so aggressive that you are actually hurting your tip. This is tip tinner. It should be used when your tip is no longer getting clean from the standard cleaning practices. Uh, this, though it looks like lip balm, should not be used with the frequency of lip balm. Six, pliers make crummy soldering tip removal tools. This is a hot tip. This isn't a hot tip. Imagine, this is a hot tip. You take a pair of pliers and you grab the tip and you remove it you are bending it, you are crimping that soldering tip. A lot of the stations we offer come with a, a solder removal pad. Get used to using that. I know it looks and feels weird, but it, it works so much better. Otherwise, you are just going to damage your soldering tip. Number seven, select the right tip, the right geometry for the right job. Need some pointers on that? We have a video on it. Check it out. We're in bonus time now. Bonus time. You really want your tips to last. Do not use them as a pry bar, a screwdriver, something to chisel away at conformal coating. This sole purpose is for completing a sort of connection. Pressing down on it hard or using it in any other way than it's designed, you will be coming back to us and getting tips significantly more often. Public service announcement. This has absolutely nothing to do with uh, soldering tip maintenance. Solder fumes aren't healthy to breathe in. This may be a real shocker that that toxic fume that you're working above, inhaling that might actually be bad for you. Get some sort of a fume extractor. Get some sort of a fan, a filtration unit. Read your MSDS. It says soldering should be done in a well-ventilated area. Make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area. If you have the budget for it and you can swing it, you can afford it, give us a call. We'll help you out with fume extraction. But, but really, 
soldering is a whole bunch of fun and you know it, it produces some really good stuff but that byproduct those sort of fumes just just be careful around those